Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards, coming at you with another exciting edition of Zach Down. And in this one, I'm super stoked to finally bring some hobby action to the party. So this is three packs from a standard hobby box. Not something I ever picture myself buying an entire box of because, let's face it, quite frankly, at $300 plus, depending on where you get it from, it's just insane. Uh, you get, you do, you are guaranteed two autographs, and I think there's only a total of, I forget if it was eight or ten packs, something like that, but I uh, recently went to a local hobby shop and they were finally selling them by the pack. So each one of these bad boys, I got three, costed $25 each, which... I mean, I guess in the grand scheme of things kind of makes sense considering how much the entire box costs. But I thought it would be pretty fun to open up a few hobby packs and kind of compare them to the retail counterpart in the blasters, right? So the blasters you can find anywhere from $25 to $35. So I was thinking if you're finding them at the high end of $35, then this is a pretty solid comparison. I mean, you're going to end up getting more cards out of retail for, again, roughly the same price. But Hobby does have some Hobby-specific autographs, parallels, uh, all kinds of stuff, kind of like usual, right? Uh, so let's kind of get into it and, and see if there truly is any difference. And who knows, maybe we can get lucky enough to nab one of the two autos that were in that box. So... Let's get these out of the way. Let's get them open real quick. We're going to start with the retail since we've already had a number of the Prism openings on the channel. Hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have. Uh, when it comes to wrestling cards, it's just nothing better. I, I absolutely love wrestling cards. Cannot wait for the next series to come out, which I'm guessing will be select. If uh, last year is anything to go by. Although, there is the, again, I believe it's hobby exclusive, similar to last year, or maybe online exclusive, whatever you call it, Revolution, which is not something I picked up last year, and it's not something I plan to pick up this year, as the price has gone up again. Uh, but the main reason I won't do that is the fact that I believe you only get like 40 or 50 cards in the box, and the box this year runs about a hundred to a hundred and twenty dollars kind of anywhere in that neighborhood and for me that's just too steep i don't want to pay you know basically in the neighborhood again of three dollars per card that's just a little too rich for me so maybe i'll end up finding some singles at some point at one of the card shows i go to and we'll give it a shot should have picked it up last year when it was only retailing for uh, I think like 60 bucks, something like that. Definitely, definitely more affordable for the, again, the 40 or 50 cards that you get. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Obviously, the most exciting part about the blasters are the Ice Prism Parallels. They are retail slash blaster exclusive. So let's see if we can pull some big names. Pack number one. And we start with Razor. Rommel, absolutely legendary. That's awesome. Looks like during his Intercontinental title run. And here's our first ice prism. Is it vertical? Well, spoiled it. Tatum Paxley, it is a rookie. So not bad. Very nice. You know, not one of the top names, but hey, I'll always take a rookie. That's really nice. And we got our first ring royalty, Seamus. I didn't get any of those in the previous opening. And Carmelo Hayes, a guy who I think not going to be much longer, and he'll be on the he'll be on the main roster because he's just lighting it up down in down in NXT. So maybe we'll stick this in a penny sleeve real quick, just to eh, you know what? It's got quite a bit of the usual junk on it, being a Prism product. So we'll hold off until we can treat it with a microfiber cloth. Pack number two. Got ourselves a Ludwig Kaiser. 
Isle of Dawn. Mankind on the green parallel. That's awesome. And Amari Miller. Mankind is sweet. Once again, green are, I believe, retail only. And again, they pop quite nicely. There's so many different colors and stuff to keep track of. That's the name of the game when it comes to Prism. Roxanne Perez, followed by our next ice, and it's going to be Alba Fire, the tag team partner of Isla Dawn. At least, I guess they're still tag partners. I haven't seen too much of them since they took on Rousey and Baszler in a losing effort. Prismatic Entrance, Triple H. And our truth <laughs> Yeah, buddy. I mean, I think he could definitely have done a better job with this one. I mean, that, that was an absolutely iconic entrance that they're trying to show, but I don't really understand why you would just leave it blacked out like that. Very similar to The Undertaker from the, the first release last year of Prism. And Austin Theory. I believe he's still running around with the United States title on SmackDown. John Cena. And we have our silver prism of EO Sky. And the Godfather. So once again, non-numbered, but that is... Those are just gorgeous. Two backs to go, I believe, from the first blaster. Let's see if we can come across anything else exciting. I'm going to kick it off with Elton Prince. And we got our final Ice Parallel. Ice Prism Parallel. And it is... Nathan Fraser. Guy absolutely lights things up on NXT as well. I mean, Axiom had an incredible series of matches. Angelo Dawkins and Charlotte Flair. Man, these are just covered with... You know, lint or whatever you call it. You can really see it on the black cards. Or the mostly black cards. Alright, last pack. First blaster. Not expecting to see too much in here. We have Scarlet. Not too sure what her and Mr. Cross are up to. Ivy Nile. Ooh, a top tier Becky Lynch. That's awesome. The background kind of Really goes with, uh, I guess, her hair color. And oh, Oro Mensa. So that's a really cool insert. On to the second blaster. This is pretty much how Prism goes, right? I mean, it's, unless you get extremely lucky, you're typically not going to see numbered cards, autos, things of that nature. Luke Gallows. We got Top Dollar. Who hotter than Top Dollar? I believe is that what he says? Hmm. Something like that. Alba Fire now in the green prism. And Nikita Lyons, who's just a matter of time really before she makes her return to NXT. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Oh, he would have been a really sweet ice prism parallel. Bianca Belair. That's a nice one. Definitely. It's absolutely gorgeous the way they shine. Got another ring royalty. This time it's Booker T. I mean, why would you... King Booker, come on. Why would you even call it Booker T? And Saray. He was King Booker. <laughs> Awful. What British accent he tried to do. All right, next pack. Malik Blade. We have another Ice Prism Parallel. Oh, man, it's Bray Wyatt. That is my absolute favorite. Uh, I really, really hope he comes back. It's This undisclosed illness stuff has me very concerned, but... That is, I don't even care. That is the coolest pull and will probably remain that way. 
Bruno San Martino, Legends of the Hall, and Channing Stax Lorenzo, rookie. Who the storyline with him and the Don of NXT, Tony D. Really cool storyline, actually. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I am. We have Giovanni Vinci, part of Imperium. We have Shotzi, who just recently shaved her head. We'll see why that was done. Ooh, we got Prism Rookie. And it's Tia Hale. Ooh, they seem like they're going to do some cool stuff with her. And Cowboy Brock Lesnar. That's from the, was it the SummerSlam match where he's in the uh, excavator? That's really cool. But, and the Thea Hale, very, very nice. Two packs left in retail. And then we'll move on to the, perhaps the most exciting part of the entire opening, the hobby packs. We have Selena Vega, and I believe our final Ice Prism, followed by a Green Prism. And it's a rookie of Eliza Alexander. I am actually not even sure who that is. NXT UK, huh? I know it's like still a thing, but we have Alexa Bliss and Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning. That's really cool. Last pack, see if we can get a little last pack retail magic. Starting off with Liv Morgan. We have Ilya Dragunov, another one of the most exciting guys on NXT for sure. We have a prismatic entrance for Edge, his brood entrance. That's awesome. And finishing on Shinsuke Nakamura. Prismatic entrance. That one's definitely better than the Triple H one. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see... Wish me a little bit of luck. Let's cross some fingers, cross some toes, all that good stuff, and see what comes out of these. You do get 12 cards per pack. So basically two of these make up one blaster. And not a whole lot to read on here since they don't really, you know, Panini doesn't really do odds, but I mean, I guess this is everything that you can get out of it. Not really... the best focus, but you guys can pause and probably read through that. Well, let's see. Pack number one. We kick it off with Austin Theory, one we've already seen. Again, the regular cards are not going to be any different. The base cards, I should say. There's something red there. I can see it. wonder what that is. John Cena, Elton Prince, again, already already seen them all so far, Scarlet seen it, maybe Nile, oh, let's save the, oh, there's a couple of red, I don't know what those are, let's, let's save them for the end, just to, just to build a little bit of anticipation, Legends of the Hall, Yokozuna, we have Gigi Dolan, Base Prism, Channing Stax Lorenzo for the second time, Nikita Lyons again. Saray. So the base cards for this one were basically all duplicates, but that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. And let's see what we have here. It's going to be a Mustafa Ali red prism and Shawn Michaels red prism. I mean, I'm guessing this is definitely a different one. It is non-numbered or anything from what I can see, but that is really cool. And what about the Sean? The Sean is numbered to 299. All right, so we get a numbered card out of the first pack. I just double check the Ali. Eh, I'll have to take another look later, but i going to sleeve that up real quick because he doesn't look quite as bad when it comes to the... Uh, I mean, there's still some junk on there. All right, so we'll hold off on that. 
but awesome. That is our first numbered card <laughs> from Prism this year. We only pulled one all of last year, and of course I only opened retail last year, so that was probably why. Let's see what we have here. Kicking it off, Kevin Owens, KO. Absolutely tremendously talented guy. I love watching him perform. Grayson Walla. We have Ariana Grace, rookie. All right, that's cool. Take that. Wesley. And Duke Hudson. A couple of NXT fellas. We got ourselves coming up on our inserts and such. And it's Vader time. Look at that. Is this just a standard? Almost looks like a prism parallel type. Or a... a yeah, like the Prism Parallel and, you know, Topps Chrome. But very cool. Non-numbered. Joaquin Wild. Also looking like just a base. Ring Royalty Edge. Back when he won the King of the Ring. Like that throwback picture. We have Ridgey. Ridge Holland. Rey Mysterio. Angelo Dawkins, and Raquel Rodriguez. So that pack, 100% not worth the $25 price tag, but that's all right. They're not all going to be. We're down to the last one. <laughs> I'm really pulling for one of the two autos. Let's see if we can get a little bit of luck and actually get a pull. I mean, regardless, I'm happy. Got one numbered card. Tons of wrestling cards. Can't complain one bit. And we're going to start with Gable Steveson. He's finally doing some things on NXT, but it sounds like he's going to be taking more time off for amateur wrestling. Sheamus. Shamey. We have Omos. We have Kofi. We have Braun Strowman. On that weird, uh, again, like prism parallel type. Uh, numbered. We have Joe Coffee for the silver. And that's it, I guess. So we did not pull an auto. Legends of the Hall, Kevin Nash. We have Rhea Ripley, who... Honestly, I think it's the most over female in the business. Carmelo Hayes, Amari Miller, or Truth, and The Godfather. So not a bad way to finish, but not going to lie, a tad disappointed. A tad disappointed to, to not get one of the autos, especially for the, for the price tag of 75 bucks. But... All in all, it was an absolute blast opening packs, and we all know that this is always a possibility when we open packs. It's a complete gamble, so I would say that, you know, the hobby stuff is probably better left alone, you know, just, just stick with the retail unless you're, you know, unless you're really intent on getting those autographs and, and you know, you want to be guaranteed an autograph, in which case you're not going to be buying single packs like I just did. You're going to be you know, buying the entire box, which is three, you know, at least $300 from what I've seen. I've never seen it cheaper. So with that said, uh, real quick review, the hobby stuff, very cool, has some different parallels. Yeah, but once again, not, you know, I don't think it's for the, the everyday type of collector. Like, uh, I definitely like to classify myself. Um, definitely more so for you know, the more hardcore guys that are looking for that top autograph or that or that top uh, numbered card or even the, the case hits and such that they have. So, um, but tons and tons of fun. I'd say stick with the retail. If it was me, you get you get a few more cards uh, and you definitely still have your chances at getting autos and such. Uh, but again, just don't go into it with that in mind because from retail autos and such are an incredibly difficult pull uh, from what I've seen on forums and other and other videos they're just they're almost impossible to pull so 
With that said, I'll get you guys on out of here. I don't wanna, don't wanna take too much more out of your time. I do appreciate from the bottom of my heart, you guys hanging in there and, and, and you know, spending every second with me that you do. I very much appreciate that. If you could head down below, hit the little subscribe button, maybe tap the like button. If you've enjoyed this opening, I'd love to bring you yet another edition of Zach Down. It is it is one of the easiest things to, to bring because it's just so much fun to, to sit here and talk about wrestling and check out cards and such. And uh, yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know. I mean, like I said, I, I think the hobby was a little, or is a little overpriced for sure, but still a fun opening. Let me know if uh, you've picked up hobby, if you've had better luck, uh, who your autographs have been, if you picked up hobby for sure. And uh, yeah, I'd love to love to hear from you. But with that said, I'll get you guys on out of here. Thank you so, so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.